So we have spent quite a bit of time looking at discrete random variables, that is variables where I can list all of the options. Now I want to look at what happens when I have a continuous random variable where all of the options cannot be listed. So a continuous random variable is a variable that can take on all of the numbers within an interval. So not just a finite set where I can list that I can flip a heads or tails or roll a one, two, three, four, five, or six, but I'm looking at something that can take on all of the values between any two other numbers. Qu uh, quite often this is time, weight, height, temperature, lots of measurements like that will all be continuous random variables. Now the good news is this isn't really new information. We've actually looked at this before, way back when we first learned about z-scores. Well, let's take a look at this example. It says times required to pack stereos can be described by a normal model with a mean of nine minutes and a standard deviation of 1.5 minutes. Times for boxing also follow a normal model with a mean of six minutes and a standard deviation of one minute. What percent of stereo systems take longer than 12 minutes to pack? So notice, I'm only worried about the packing times, which is the mean of nine, standard deviation of 1.5. So now I'm going to find that standard deviation, I'm sorry, find that z-score, which is the observed of 12 minutes minus the expected of nine minutes to get three, and then divide that by the standard deviation of 1.5 to get a z-score of 2. So I'm going to go to stat calculators normal because I'm dealing with a normal model. I've turned it into a z-score so my mean and standard deviation stay exactly where they are. I turn that into a 2 and then I have to determine based on the question what should this be? So the question says, what percent of stereo systems take longer than 12 minutes? So I'm going to say greater than two as a z-score. And I end up with 0 0.0228, essentially. So approximately 2.28% of stereo systems will take longer than 12 minutes to pack. Now again, we've talked about this before. If you're doing a question for me in an assessment, I'm going to want to see the z-score. So if you just give me the answer and don't show me the z-score, you're not going to get the points. However, if you want to check your work, and I'm sure that you do so you know you get all of the points, I of course would change this to 9 and this to 1.5 and this value to 12 and check my work only to find that this answer is the same as I got when I used my z-score. Now I didn't give you one to try on your own in this video because I wanted to go through what would be considered the most difficult kind of question that I might give you. So here again, I'm using the same initial information, packing stereos, normal model, nine minutes comma 1.5 minutes. So this is a good sort of summary of what we've already learned. And notice here, I'm saying what happens when I have two consecutive systems and what's the probability that it will take more than 20 minutes? So essentially I'm saying, look, I've got combining random variables, which we just learned how to do in this chapter. So I know if I expect one time to be nine minutes, then I expect two systems to then take 18 minutes. So that's my mean is 18. Then if I want the standard deviation, well, I know I can't just go adding 1.5. I need to square those numbers to turn them into variances, add them together, and then take the square root to turn it into the standard deviation. Then I'm going to go ahead and find the z-score. And so my z-score is my observed of 20 minutes minus my expected of 18 minutes divided by my standard deviation of 2.12. And notice I've just given you another way to show your work here. I've said the probability that time is greater than 20 minutes 
is equal to the probability that z is greater than, and then I've just done the calculations within the actual equation, which is the probability that z is greater than 0.94, and then notice how I put it into StatCrunch. Again, 0, 1, because I'm using a z-score, and then greater than or equal to 0.94 and that gave me my solution, which is about 0.1736. So there's about a 17% chance that packing two consecutive systems will take more than 20 minutes.